often in Flash, to get the effect that you want, you're going to need to nest symbols inside of each other. You can create a new symbol when there's nothing on the stage. I'm going to select Insert New Symbol. I'm going to make this a graphic symbol, which I will call GR Wheel Still, and I'm going to make sure that it's a graphic type. I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to select the color black, draw a circle, put it in my, I want to hold the shift key down so it's a pure circle, put it in. Here it's not aligned, I'll do that in a second. I'm going to insert a new layer. So the first one will be tire, rim, and then I'm going to do a new circle in gray. Not aligned yet, which is fine. And I'm going to use my paintbrush tool, set to black, and I'm just going to a few spots in the rim. Because I want to see it spinning. I'm going to select everything. And I'm going to hit Command K. And I'm going to align to the center of my stage. So that when it spins, it should spin smoothly around the center. And I really should have taken a little bit more time with these dots in the center to make them better aligned, but it will at least show you that it's spinning. I'm going to go back to scene one. You'll notice that my wheel that I created is in the library. I'm going to insert a new symbol, GR moving wheel. Again, I want to make sure I'm completely aligned. And then I'm going to right click and create a motion tween. And in my properties, I'm going to have it move clockwise one time and I'm going to test it. The reason that I put the dots in the center is you can see that it's actually spinning. Now I'm going to go back to scene one. I'm going to insert a new symbol. I'm going to call it GR cycle. And here I'm going to drag two copies of my moving wheel. And if I want, I can use Command K and align actually. Let's just have them align here. I don't want them to align top to the stage, I want them to align to each other. So I want to align top edge. There, see it shifted, they're perfectly aligned now. Now ideally I would spend a fair amount of time on this and create an actual motorcycle effect. I'm just going to do something real quick. There, that 
that's my cycle. I'm going to go to scene one. I'm going to select my cycle from the library and put it out to see here on the edge. And I'm actually going to use my free transform tool to make it a little smaller. And I'm going to have it move. I'm going to create a motion tween and have it persist a little bit longer. And in the last frame, I'm going to have it move across the stage. That gives me a dot line. I can have it move up or move down. I can also with my black arrow tool should be able to change the shape of it a little bit. Okay, it's not letting me do that. If I test this, it's moving. Notice the wheels aren't spinning. I forgot to do one thing. I didn't make this persist. I don't need to apply a tween to it or anything. I just need to make sure it exists at least long enough that the wheels will turn. So now I've nested three symbols inside of each other. The wheel still is inside of the moving wheel, which is inside of the cycle, and I can move the whole cycle. And I have nested my graphic symbols.